Well, as schools everywhere strive to improve the academic performance of students, many have cut phys ed and recess periods to leave more time for the classroom. But some South Florida schools are making sure their students do get physical, and it does seem to be helping the students. CBS 4's Vanessa Borch reports. It's 10 a.m. on a Thursday morning, and for the next hour and a half, the first graders at the Mandelstam School in South Miami will be tumbling, flipping, and stretching. Gymnastics is part of the elementary school's curriculum, and the kids love it. It's made me stronger, flexible, because we also do a lot of conditioning. It's a revolutionary way to look at physical education. The school's founder, Rod Mandelstam, has been incorporating gymnastics in PE programs for decades. When the children finish fifth grade over here and then go to middle school at the various schools they go to, they absolutely rule in the sports. Pediatrics researcher for U Health, Dr. Sarah Messiah, agrees. I think I think gymnastics offers a really unique opportunity because, again, you're building that flexibility and strength from a really young age. That stays with you. And numerous studies show physical education translates to academic improvement. The National Academy of Sciences conducted a study that concluded active children tended to have stronger performance at school, especially in reading and mathematics. What physical activity does, it, it can actually improve brain function. So when the children go back to the classroom, they're more prepared to learn, the uptick of information, the memory is improved. Mandelstam is a private school, so the administration has the luxury of choosing the curriculum. But some public schools in Miami-Dade County are trying to push for more active options as well. The rock climbing wall is a favorite for students at Nautilus Middle School in Miami Beach. They incorporate unique and more kid-friendly ways for the students to stay interested in PE, dance classes and video games that keep them moving, for example. But realistically, many public schools in South Florida are reducing the amount of physical activity. So for them, Dr. Messiah says, if there's a will, there's a way. And there's lots of places around town that if they want to do activity outside of school, they can. Obviously, structured sports programs, gyms, parks, etc. And the results could be a love for being active in and out of the classroom. It's really exciting and really. <laughs> Vanessa Borge, CBS 4 News.